account, which I forgot again. It's fine. I thought it was only. Sit here. I mean, my pre workout is just, uh, I mean, no, not that I'm not in. It sounds like you saying, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm, I'm not taking caffeine when I'm pregnant. All right, so welcome everyone. Kemi Leblanc Vesne here. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do today is all going to be a lot of upper body so we can make those shoulder grow and look amazing. Chest day. And um, so before we do uh, some chest hypertrophy and finisher with Dave and me, we're going to start with a little workout conditioning to get our body going and get all those muscles going too. So our workout today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do three rounds of four minute work, one minute rest. Um, if you have a partner like me and Dave, we're gonna do it in a partner version. Partner. You are my partner. Pre-workout. So the workout is going to be, we're gonna do 10 renegade row, so push up, row, row, into 10, hang, clean, and jerk. Yes into, if you're uh, without a partner, you're gonna do a 200 meter run or 15 calorie on the bike of 80 toe touch in place. If you have a partner, one person is gonna be doing a round here on the Renegade Row and the Clean and Jerk, and the other one is gonna be either running or biking or doing the toe tap. Pre-workout. And we're gonna go for four minutes, rest one minute, and we're gonna repeat that three times. And then we're going to destroy our upper body uh, with David. Titties. And me. So, are you ready to warm up? Pre-workout, but I'm ready. Let's do it. What do you got? What are we doing? What are we doing, Chief? So, we're going to start by warming up uh, our neck and shoulder. Oh, okay. So, we're going to go very sexy. Uh, you have to do oh, it sexy. Oh, yes. Finally, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> we're going to just do... Um, neck circle, head circle. Would you, would you say neck or head circle? So, do, would you want me to spot you on these? And uh, wait, I can do it from your hair too. <laughs> this is so bad. Now they have an image that I can never go away. Is this so this good five, five each side, make it sexy, David. I feel like one of those balloon Less body, less body, more head. More, more head, less body. More head, less body, that's too much body. This is my mobility. <laughs> Come on, you need it because your back is terrible. I know, I like, I like this guy here too. That's not what we're doing, you do the one I do. Okay? No, it's funny because like your neck is, is really, like people have shoulder pain, oftentimes they have things going on in their neck too, and that contributes to it. All right. Good, yeah, that was good, I think I nailed it. <laughs> You're the worst. All right, next thing, we're just going to do some 10 circle back. So I should really stick my chest out. Yes, and do this make too. it sexy. Can you even spot this as well? <laughs> uh -huh. You are an animal. Go on your side. Stay on your side. I am an animal. 10 back, <laughs> now 10 forward. You tell me, tiger. <laughs> and now we're going to do 20 of these. Don't touch, don't touch me! <laughs> You're the worst. You're the worst. If you catch something, it's yours. This is not much to do it. Alright, gonna keep one arm in front. It's a little rotation like this. You like that? I feel like I'm sprinkling it. That's <laughs> exciting. <laughs> All right, the other side. You guys just learned a new dance move right there. Yep, it's called the cami. Do the cami, guys. I know you like it. Work the girl. Oh, it's the power of loving. Oh, she's in a good mood this morning. I know, it's so good. grumpy. Yes. All right. Like All right, that. little hip circle. Don't Make it that. sexy. Make sure your coach spot you. Yeah, you want to really... That makes a spot you in this one. Yeah, spot in this one. Yeah. Yeah. All about hip mobility. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you come back, people always go front, but make sure you get it back there, too. <laughs> make sure you're getting back there. Okay, that's it. Down each side. Next side. Yeah. 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 Ye
say. Oh yeah. 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 Back that thing up. <laughs> you come for you go back that thing up. <laughs> you are so annoying. But I still love you. Alright. Darn it. Alright, left leg. You're gonna bring it up on your knee. Oh Jesus. <laughs> you're fucking you're high right now. And you have soup with your arms. Like oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting there. It is. Fucking snap. Jesus. Hey, keep going. Right, to the way. other leg. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Make sure you use something to hold on to if you need to. All right, right next thing we're going to do. We're gonna just do ten, just thing like this. I don't know you call those washing machine move. Washing machine? Yeah, it's two, two, two. You like it? Yeah, but you know, washing machines keep going in a circle. They don't just go back and forth. Like, well, whatever, it's okay. It's okay. A little washing machine move here. Yeah. You calling me stupid? No, nope, not calling you stupid. Totally love you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bend at the hips now. Oh yeah, bend at the hips. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. I'm just gonna oh rotate. Oh my gosh, that's definitely a bad idea for me. <laughs> well, don't go that low. That's terrible. Wherever it's stretched. Oh my good. And keep your back flat. Keep your back flat when you do this. It is flat. Bending and twisting is dangerous for the next. It time. is flat. That feels I'm good. good. I'm gonna do massage. You guys keep doing it. I'm just gonna keep massaging you. And I'm not kissing. Oh, okay. All right, we're warm. <laughs> Are we yeah, yeah, we're done. All right, let's do a little new rotations on each side. I feel like the side. I feel like a, 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 a girl who needs to pee. <laughs> I can't. You have to put your head like this. I can't pee like guys. We can't just pull our pants down and pee in the forest. All right, we're gonna go down in a push-up position. Huh? Okay. okay. And here, we're just going to uh, go from one leg to the other and just straighten up and bend the other leg. Oh, I got you. Okay. Straighten up and bend the other leg. It's getting those hamstrings. Uh, not hamstrings. Calf. Yeah. yeah. I feel that calf. And now we're going to go from a plank to just a down dog position, and we're going to do 10 of those. All right, and now we're ready. We're gonna warm up our movement uh, for the workout, and we'll get going. I got busy there from going all the way down here to all the way up here. Yeah. Yeah. Should we? Do you think it'd be better like if we took the bells and on the driveway because this is slippery here? We just flip the cameras around and we're not like we're not no, so like, no. Okay, that, that's kind of dangerous. But okay. I do it all the time here. All right, that's okay. I'll just flip with you. All right, so if you have a light dumbbell at the house, go get them right now. Yeah. Right now. If you don't have a dumbbell, uh, you can use water bottle or like backpack. Um, it'll be hard to do the run and get grow with the backpack, but if you uh, don't have kind of two things, what I want you guys to do is just mimic the movement, or you can do a uh, bend and push on this end. Yeah, yeah, so like if you guys, um in our Anarchy program and WL Anarchy, the first warm up we're doing is a weighted banded push up. So we can use this as a way to kind of get some conditioning and get that in. So in between your running interval or your biking interval, you can just take your band, put it around your back, and you'll do the max set of banded push ups. And that's what I'm doing. All right. So how we're going to do the Renegade row, we're going to do one push up, and then we're going to row, and then we're going to row. But I want you guys to really focus on when you do this movement, when you do the row, don't think about just pulling it up here. See how my elbow is about at my rib cage right now? That's not what we want, because that's gonna go a lot in our bicep. What I wanna do is I wanna row and try to bring it to my pocket. So that way I'm leading with my elbow, and it's really gonna help engage um, those upper back muscle, which is truly the one that we're going to try to target in this movement. So what we're going to do, we're gonna do one push up, 
And then we're going to row to our pocket, row to our pocket. And that's going to be one. So we're going to do 10 of these per round. And that's going to be our first movement. Yeah, that's fine. So at home, uh, let's go and do three of those right now. So one push up, pocket, pocket, like that. Okay. Yes. Great. One push up, pocket, pocket, back down. One push up, pocket, pocket, back down. Two. Now, if going on your feet is a little too much, too soon for you, because we want, really want to keep our body in a nice plank while you do that. Feel free to rotate uh, your body when you lift the dumbbell. That's totally fine. Also, you can spread your feet for balance. What I don't want to see is um, just a floppy bag. So I don't want your hips to be dropping down um, like a little... Like a little girl. Like a little jello. Like a jello girl. Yeah. Now our second movement, we're going to do some hang clean and jerk. So what we're going to do, we're simply going to stand up with the dumbbell. You're just going to bend your legs slightly. You're going to jump up, shrug, bring the dumbbell to your shoulder, and then you're going to jump again and bring the shoulder overhead. So here, I'm just going to stand up with the dumbbell. I'm going to bend my leg just a little, and I'm just going to bring the dumbbell up to my shoulder. Here, same thing. Bend my knee a little and just push the bell up overhead. Now, is that for like the second interval we're doing? No, it's the same okay. one. Okay, so you're going to do 10 renegade rows and then 10 of those. Yes. Okay, got it. While the other person is uh, biking or running, and then you would go for a bike or run. Okay, so how long is the bike run? Probably like 400 meters? 200 meters, so okay. one minute. And the goal would be to get two rounds in that four minute interval. Okay, gotcha. Okay? Yep. And then one minute rest. So we're going to do 10 of these. So at home, let's do five. Five. And if you guys want to do this with banded push ups, what you'll do is you'll do the run. And then you'll just go right into the max set of banded push-ups. So, like I'm doing right here, you put the band in, uh, in your in your hands. Okay. You're going to start by just putting it around your back, and you can see here I just got it right on the upper part of my tricep. And uh, if you go hands on the ground, and from here it's just it's just a push-up. Nothing too crazy. All right. <laughs> so that'll be uh, four sets of that. Um, if you want to do that, or feel free to alternate. Maybe one round you do the renegade row and the clean and jerk, and the other round you can do it with the band. So um, something I really love about like what we're doing today is we're kind of really attacking our shoulder and overall body in a lot of different ways. From going to a different plane where one we're laying down, another one we're standing up, one we're pulling, the other one we're pushing. And when you do things like that together, it really allows you to keep moving more and also put more demands on your muscle, um, which is why we love pairing movement like uh, we are doing today. So um, the intensity should be high. Yes, that's perfect. So the intensity in this workout should be really high. We're working for four minutes and resting for one. We're going from a plank pulling into a standing, jumping, and pushing, into uh, another pushing, but at the leg in either that run, that bike, or that toe tap. Um, so those movements really complement each other well. So at home, you are really getting that full body workout right now. Full body workout. Yeah. All right, I'm in position. It gets as hard as you make it hard. So really keep the intensity up, up, up. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I give you guys uh, one minute to get your whole thing set up. How many rounds is you? Three. With Three one rounds. minute rest. Gotcha. Okay. okay. One minute. So rest. fifteen minutes. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Yep. All right. At home, one minute to get ready. I'm gonna go grab my drink. One minute. David can entertain you. This counts. I'm counting these calories uh, for the, the workout. So hey, um, for for this one, guys, like I'm saying, in our our muscle anarchy, our dumbbell anarchy group. Feel free to pair whatever monostructural bike run you're doing for the 200 meters with the max set of, um, of band-resisted push-ups in the, the four minutes. Realistically, you're probably going to maybe get maybe about two sets each round 
Um, so it'll end up being six total sets, which is a good amount of volume before we start hitting our chest today. Yeah, so if you're doing this with a partner like me and Dave, we're not really gonna, your goal is just to do as many of the cardio component as you can as the other one is doing uh, the round with the weight. Cool, let's go. All right. You're good. You need to put chalk. You need to put chalk. <laughs> Now, when you put chalk cam, I recommend you put it over the chalk bucket, not around the gym. David? Unbelievable. Don't be in that. Unbelievable. All right, here we go at home. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Seven. And three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. one. Nine. Fantastic. Cool. It's less slippery on the floor. Less slippery on the floor. Yeah. I find that so hard to do. Okay. Give it a shot. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. So that was one and a half minutes. So I think we'll get one and a half minutes. Yeah, and so, so I'm gonna have two more here. The second, the second arrow, I'm gonna do it with banded push-ups. 
while Cammy um, does the bike. So I'm gonna I'll switch the movement. Okay, so on the next round, wherever you were at, that's where I want you guys to start. My arms are feeling bumpy. <laughs> So we're gonna go in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So I have two more clean and jerk. Okay. Right. <laughs> you know what? No, I don't. You know what? What did I do? You know exactly what you did. I'm a stinker? You're a stinker. Well, I do, I'm not gonna not Three, to two, Listen to one. Okay, so now I'm going with the bandit push-up on this one. So I'm going to try to get just a good long set. Yeah, because I would like to do some. Because Gammy's got some time, so I can take my time on this, because Gammy's going to have probably 45 seconds on this bike. I got it in my hands. It goes right across the upper part of my tricep. And now, let's start doing some push-ups. Is the power of love. Here we go. Keep the intensity high at home. We're only going for four minutes. Oh, that stings. Yeah, it just stings. It stings my titties. It stings my tatas. tatas? Guess how many reps I got? Zero. I was gonna say, Zero reps. I was going to say, really not real? <laughs> <laughs> I put <quit> standard. <laughs> Here we go. Keep moving. Keep pulling through your pocket. Now let's try things. Pretty work out. Here we go. Cool. Oh. Spicy. All right. Getting alternating. I'm more shorter than you. <laughs> Ready to row. Here we go. We have one minute. One minute. Push as hard as you can. Almost there. If you're pregnant, you should still be able to talk. That's your indicator of too much. But if you can talk, slow down a bit. And if you can talk, go faster.
I'm gonna finish those. You're gonna finish those. I'm gonna finish those things. Okay, finish what you started, honey. Finish what you started. Yeah. This is fun, right? Yeah. I like training with you. I like training with you too. My favorite person. I am your favorite person. I, am. <laughs> I also am your favorite person. Yes, that's you. Yay, I win. You win, she's the winner. I win this part. <laughs> she always wins. <laughs> All she does is blame Lenny. That's not true, but I'll take it. All right. Three, three two, right. one. back to the band and push up now. So give myself a good couple good breaths and try to get one really good long set. There we go. Two minutes. Less now. Come on, Dave. Hey, you're going to be on there for the next three minutes, Cam. Stop whining. Get working. All right. So I'm going to see if I can match that 50. No judgment, guys. No, that doesn't feel good. Show this way. Okay. Here we go. Fans on the upper tricep on this. All right, we have about one minute left. So keep pushing. And one minute exactly. One more minute of work. If you're doing this as a farmer and you're running, what you can do is some shuttle run. You can see when your farmer is done. You got it. Oh, that stings. It you stings every time. You done? It stings every time. Oh, it's like beast stings all over my pecs. That should mean we're done. <sighs> all right, last one. Yeah, 20 seconds. Just get as many as you can. Oh, I'm going so hard. 10 seconds. Exercise completed. Yay! Well, the good news is I feel pretty warm. Yeah. Shoulders feel we pretty warm. warm. <laughs> so now is the perfect segue into our hypertrophy work. 
Um, and this will be a little more mellow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with some incline dumbbell chest press. So if you have an incline bench, that's awesome. If you don't, that's fine. You can prop a flat bench up on some boxes or plates. And if you don't have anything at all, you can go on the ground. But I'm also going to show you ways to substitute an incline bench. So I'm going to show you right here. This is an incline bench. What we're trying to do is go at about 30 degrees with it. So there's the 30 degree incline. So if you can imagine, the press is going to be right here. And you're targeting, sorry Cam, you're targeting your upper chest. Now if you don't have that, here's an easy way to sub it. You can do it on a BOSU ball, you can do it on a couch, or you can even use something like this. Is if you just put your upper back across the bench and sink your hips. Essentially what you've done, okay, so here's a hip bridge. I'm going to sink my hips down. Now I've created an incline for myself. Okay, so that's another way you could recreate this movement. First set is going to be 25 smooth reps. So what that means is with a two-second countdown and two-second count up, we're going to go 25 reps just to get warm, to push blood into your shoulders, although they're pretty good just for that first set. Cammy's going to grab a light set of weights, so she might do this just with 25s, okay? Or 20s, if you want. I'm going to clean off my camera. It looks a little smudgy. Is that better? Not so much glare? Good, now freeze at the top here for a second, Cammy. Squeeze your wrist nice and tight, right there. Hold that wrist straight, okay, go ahead. That's it. Woo, so this will be really fun, to kind of pump out the chest after we did some of that conditioning, get really warm. And even with a light weight here, you can challenge yourself because the reps are a little bit higher and the tempos are nice and smooth. Ooh. I know my good friend Donnie probably missing, missing out on chest day. He's probably jealous, Cam. <laughs> All my buddies, Max Wessel, Donnie, our, our, our bros, our Thunder Bro Nation people. I wish you guys were here with us. To do a chest day, chest day is like my, my favorite day. I think it's like guys' favorite than girls. Yes, it's the best of so, mine for it. So, uh, you know, like if you don't have the right amount of weights, I'm going to show you some ways to kind of scale the weight up or down. This first set is just kind of light, so grab it like a set of 60s for this first one. Go, big deal. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go All right, we're doing 25 of these right now. Twenty-five of these puppies. Yes. Oh effective. So even at the end of that set of 25, it should burn just a little bit, right? It's telling you that you're really pushing a lot of blood into your pecs and into your shoulders and creating a, some metabolic stress, uh, not just to heat up the tissue but to fill the muscle up with some blood. Um, so go take a rest, we'll go about 90 seconds between sets, and you're gonna bump up and wait the next set. Woo! What are we doing on the next set? So right now we're resting, Cam, which is a very hard thing for Camille to do. I just wanna know what I'm doing next. Can I'm you just, just tell me? Hang tight, we're gonna inform everybody. Ugh. We're gonna go slow and comprehensive. Um, so, next next set, you're going to bump up in weight. If you don't have more weight, you can do what we did with the banded push-up, and you can add some band resistance to the bands, just holding that band in your hands and pressing. 
So you'll put it around your back, bring the dumbbells up, and do the band resistant press from there. The set is called a double contraction set, which means you're going to have one small incomplete contraction of the muscle length and one complete contraction. So this one is a double contraction from the bottom, which means that from the bottom of the movement, from the bells are all the way down by your armpits, you're going to perform a half rep, and you're going to come down, and you're going to perform a full rep, and that's one. We're going to do 10 of those, so half, full, one, half, full, two, okay? So that's basically, it's a double contraction, pretty simple stuff, um, but just think it's like two and one, okay? Or a menage a deux, as they say in France. So Cam, how did that last week feel? Is that okay? Yeah, I you, you, you want to try the 35? Okay, so she's going to bump herself up to like the 35s, and I'm going to be there to spot her. Um, and you know, although there are 20 reps, it's not as hard because one of them is a half of a rep. Okay, so it's just a way to keep the muscle under tension for a little bit longer um, as you move the weight. It just gives you kind of an increased capacity to keep moving the weight. All right. Sure it was. Well, 90 seconds to you is like a lifetime. One thing you also want to do is make sure you sweat on the bench a lot for your partner so that when they sit back, it's like basically like laying back into a puddle or like a, 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 a fitness swamp. One. Two. And if I spot her, I'll spot her from the elbows. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nice count. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Awesome. Good job. And what's seen about Cam is that you can see on her body how well this chest program is working for her. <laughs> Just up. based on her boob size. Ladies, if you're out there, come on. Uh, or dudes, right? That's because I'm pregnant. It has nothing to do no, with it. No, it's the program. It's definitely the program. Trust me. Doing more of this with the, before pregnancy took my boobs away. Okay. Well, that's neither here nor there, guys. Um, let's, <laughs> let's do this set. I'm going to bump up. So... Training does not give you boobs. <laughs> yeah, you know, sadly. I like it's interesting to me that like almost every high-level bodybuilder that we know, female, almost all of them have fake fake boobs, yes. right? Or, or breast augmentation. Yes. And, and I think it's because their body fat is so low. Yes, the uh, boobs are fat. But yeah. Well, no, they're they're fat, but they're also milk. There's milk and fat. No, milk. we don't we don't carry milk nope. like uh, for all our life. It's, it's sand. They're full of sand. <laughs> all right, ready? Are you spotting me on this one? Uh, you know what? I'm not, I don't even know why I'm asking. How dare you? How dare you? Wait. That's fun. Is that good, Cam? Yeah. I think she liked that one. Okay, cool. Put your bells down. <laughs> You're making yourself laugh. Place your bells down. Are you, are you making jokes with your delta? Yeah, I think now's a good time to uh, almost be like a little schizophrenic and not be afraid to talk to yourself. Earlier we did, we did a video where we had a an animate object that I was calling Wilson. Working out in the home. Like, that was a good workout, Wilson. Yeah. Uh, Our dog stuff animal. Okay, so that was set number two. Set number three, we're going to bump up and wait again, and we're going to go just to a straight set of 15. So, what I'm thinking for you guys is 15 decently heavy reps with just a smooth reps again. You don't have to be too quick with it. Um, and if you don't have the weight, you can do one of two things here. You can add a band, or if you have a buddy, you can have a buddy apply some overpressure on top of the bells, pressing their hands down on top of the bells up and down um, as you do the movement. So those are some options you can use to augment the weight 
just to make sure you're getting something out of this. The goal is like a, a decently, you know, a nice, healthy, challenging 15. So what do you think, Cam? You want to go with the 35s? Because we don't have like a big, our set of dumbbells, like we don't have a big set of lower weights. We basically go from like 35 to like 65. So there's not a lot in between. Um, so we come up with creative ways to maybe challenge those 35s, whether it's adding a band okay, or, or like yeah, resistance. Yeah. See, she can't wait. She can't wait. One day I want to count the that was, seconds. I'm sure that was 90 seconds. That was 20 seconds. No, because you got your full set in and then yap, 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 yap. Oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> I see what's happening here. Obviously, they need more. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. Better. <laughs> I don't want to so hurt. You don't want to wait to stay, Cammie. I don't want to hurt. Okay, you don't poke well. the bear. Here we go. This is sweet. Firm with that list. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. One. Good job, Molly. Elbows under two. Three. Good. Four. Nice one. Yeah, Cammy. Oh. Look at you. Still got it. She still got it, guys. She still got it. Something. Some things just cannot be unlearned. Well, for you guys out there who are working from home like us, um, it's funny how I feel like we're like way more productive now than when we were at home running around to offices and stuff. Yeah. Maybe it was the human interaction I miss. Um, I you think, know, not even conference calls on the phone and stuff. I think we're more productive just because we both don't like not doing something, but it's also driving us a little crazy because we feel like we're never stepping. Yeah, every moment of our day seems to have a purpose, which is exhausting. It really is. <laughs> All right. It really Here we is. go, David. Here we go, Mr. David. Ready, Cam? Oh, you know what? I gotta chop my hands. Don't you dare make a face at me. Notice how when I chop my hands cam, I'm just going to show you the technique here. I keep it right over the pipe, just to make sure all the little crispy crumbles end up in that pocket. Oh my god. Impossible. Uncoachable. You're annoying. They're picking at me. You look with me. I do look with you. And I'm, I'm the best. Okay. Talk about the chop, we'll talk about all your food you leave all over the house. I do leave food out of the house. Cammy is. She's and, the, and you peeing on the seat in the back. Tori needs to say, I just want everyone to know that Camille is literally the best. The best wife. I never give her enough credit for it. She takes such good care of me. It's almost big baby. Here we go. And she's laughing because she knows it's true. Yes. Thanks. Okay, so there we go. Take a breath, guys. Next set, a little more challenging. Oh, gosh. Those weights are heavy. All right. So, same deal now, except in this next set, we're going to move the reps down to 12. So for Camille, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of how you can apply overpressure with your athlete or your training buddy to really get more load. And I'm going to have to be really in tune with how she's moving the weight and how much she's struggling because the straight weight obviously stays the same, but I can modulate the amount of pressure that I'm putting on the bells to make sure she's still able to get reps. So, what do you think, Cam? 30 seconds and we'll get it? Good set of 12? Don't put too much pressure, though. I won't put too much pressure. Because the 15 was not. That 15 was hard. And there is a compounding fatigue across these sets, because yes, we have six sets of this. 
So there is compounding fatigue. There's six sets. There is six sets. That's but the last two are really fun. Uh, so you'll like it. Okay, here we go. And we're done up there? And then we got squeeze, press, and dip. That's it. Time is done. It's time to train. Uh, Can you wipe your face so you don't drip on my face? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, there are lots of ladies that would love me to drip my face on them. Sure, we'll go find them. <laughs> Internet ladies, if you're out yeah. there, DM, DM Camille. Go find them, but don't come back. DM Camille. DM Camille. <laughs> I, know, I don't think it's really nice to way they pick on David. He's such a nice guy. He's such a nice guy. I just think he really should come some black. <laughs> if only they knew. They have slow pressure here. And I'm literally giving her like 5, 10 pounds of extra pressure. That's really all she needs. Great. Good. Oh, nice camera. Five, six, seven, eight, four more. Nice job. Nine, ten. Good. That was good. One, last one. I might be giving each one anything on this last one. Good. Okay, cool. So as she fatigues, I can take some pressure off. Um, so you saw in that last rep that was most challenging for her, I was barely giving her anything. Okay, so for this one, I'm lucky because I got some stupid heavy dumbbells here. So I'm just going to do this a straight weight. Hopefully, Camille doesn't need to put over pressure on top of these. I know, I don't want to. I mean, lifting them, it, like pressing them is hard, but yes, getting them to the bench is fucking hard. I know. It's so awkward. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I think that's a good rule. If you can give it to yourself, yeah. maybe you shouldn't lift them. Okay, here we go. Please stay really on the reel. Where's my free workout? Uh, all right, same deal. Because this is heavy, I just want to make sure my hands are nice and dry and I'm mentally focused, ready to do this. I'm crashing a little. No crashing allowed. I know. I'm still here. It was that awesome workout you programmed, Cam. It was good, right? It was a, it was a good warm up and a little capacity. Is that exactly needed? I don't you know. Actually, a good sub for what I was going to do for some depletion, anyways, today. So I thought that worked out well. That was more fun. Yeah. Too. Okay. Oh, this is what goddamn ridiculous. All right. Got up right against the bench. Nice and tight. Good hard 12. Lock it in, dude. Come on. Here we go. Story. Um, so, oh, pray with me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Yay. Next up. Okay. I'm, gonna pray. <laughs> I'm so impatient. Okay, next is going to be really cool. I'm very patient for everything but this. Next is going to be really cool. You're going to like it. What we're going to do is we're going to incorporate some isometric holds into the presses. So, we're gonna do three reps, nice and smooth. I'll just show you here. One, two, three. Then we're gonna hold about halfway up, a couple inches off the chest. And we're gonna do hold that for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna do three, one, two, three, and a 10 second hold. And then we're gonna do three, a 10 second hold, and down. Okay, so, three reps, 10 second hold, three times through, drop the weight down. It's not gonna be your, your 12 rep. Um, so I recommend that weight, maybe that weight you use for like the double contraction or the set number two, that would be a good weight to maybe default to uh, for this one. Yeah, because so, it's, it's nine reps on a 30 second hold. Oh, okay, so you're up, Cam. Should I do 20 or 30? 
Uh, I would do twenties. I would do twenties. Yeah, just give me. This is this is uh, concentrated work. You know, it's not it's not super heavy loading work. Loading. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Now hold. And if I wanted to, I could even give her some pressure here in the hold. Yeah. yeah, three reps. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three, four. A little higher. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Yay, Cammy! Good job. How was that? That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, good. So Maybe. mixing up. Wait, I feel like I should have been in like between those weights. Like, yeah, so would have been good. Maybe next time I might like. Well, I'm not. This is just one set. But the goal here is, you know, by that third hold. You want to see that either yourself or your partner is starting to maybe tremble just a little bit to be able. To... <laughs> Did you fart? That's, is this happen? I sat up and I farted. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's get that clip off of uh, Instagram and we'll see if we can repost it. Um, so um, so yeah, so you want to get that's kind of strong. Um, get it to the point where the the the. Uh, Muscle is starting to oscillate a little oh bit. Oh my god, I'm so immature. Right You're now. so immature. But that sound was so and, funny. Well, well like, yeah, again, like you ladies know. out there, DM Camille. Man, I can't believe you said you saw me today. This is a really nice guy. <laughs> oh, dude, that was funny. Oh gosh. All right, did you see the face on me? Yeah. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's here? like when you know it's about to come and you have to do your sets I had the things I said, you know, I was completely thing. caught off guard. Oh, like, gosh. I, I literally surprised me. Your body starts to betray you in a number of ways as you get older. Your face on that sound was so funny. Okay, so here we go. Pop a lips in. Oh, man. We rest one soul. Well, get ready for, for your kids to think that it's the funniest thing in the world. Well, that's what I have basically right now. <laughs> Ah, I got you. <laughs> okay. That's me. Okay. It's Cammy. Here we go, Dave. Come on now. You want to put some pressure on these on top of it? Yeah, you want to hold? Yeah, so Cammy's going to press down while I hold uh, to see if we can get that good ISO hold. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, down. One more. Okay, that was it. Woo, that was good. Did you like how I whispered that to you? I, I did. I when the, you, when you were whispering you it to me, funny. it made me feel funny in my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, last set's gonna be really fun. You guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be special and different, just like the meal. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna do 10 reps with a nice and slow negative, a five count down and a five count up. So it'll look like this. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice and smooth, really focusing on how the muscles contracting, okay? Then you're gonna drop that weight and keep in mind that's 100 seconds of tension. Five down, five up for 10 reps. After that, you're gonna drop the weight, take a lighter weight, and just start to rep to failure anywhere 15 to 20 reps. That's gonna be the last cash out set. Now what's crazy about this workout is as you can see, I'm not even sweating. This isn't even hard. I mean like, am I working, Cam? Okay. I think so. I'm obviously not. <laughs> All right, so Cam, uh, for this one. Yeah, I think I think the lightweight for you, but yeah, you it's a bit twenty and then throw yeah. back ten. I think that's a good idea. Thirty five is too much for me, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, you guys are crushing it. Just gonna check our time, to make sure we're doing good here. And yep, we're dead on time. Fifty four. 
because I'm not, I might not be able to do the next thing. That's okay. We can we can finish up with two sets of the last thing, but here we go. So it's kind of five up, eight, one. Well, we start from that's, the yeah, that's fine. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Okay, come on down. That was awesome. So she held that five count up and down for ten. Now she grabs the light weights and she's just going to rep out. So she's just grabbing ten pound chips on this one. And she can press right there. And she might go anywhere 15, maybe 20 reps just to kind of finish it out. This is the last set of the incline chest press today. And as you can see, like we're really we're demolishing the incline. Very important movement. A lot of people uh, don't pay enough attention to it for developing the upper part of your chest and getting a really square looking chest. Okay. Yeah, Cam. Yeah. I've always wanted a square chest. Yeah, Cammy's chest, I would call it a square. I, I'm trying to compare it to very careful something here. in nature. I don't even know what to compare it to in nature. Be very careful. Um, here. I guess you could call it like, I don't know. I can't think of a good comparison. It's like a happy grapefruit tree. Like like <laughs> grapefruit smiling at you. Um, You're so weird. All right. All right. So here we go. I'll grab these guys. And this stuff for me is something that I'm kind of focusing on this year is trying to really connect with muscles and, um, and, and, and focus on not cheating the movement uh, because there's so many things we do kind of in CrossFit where we just get really efficient at finding where those inches are to, you know, put a little English on it, so to speak. I love that you said reconnect with muscle. I'm trying to reconnect with my wife and I'm also trying to reconnect with my muscles. Okay, I can count camera. You don't need to count for me. I'm not upset. Here we oh, go. I'm coming. No, it's okay. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Uh, oh yeah, you can see like I was really starting to kind of shake, especially in the, the concentric. It was going to right start right shake right there. Right Good goal. This is right right control right. stuff. All right, so nice smooth reps here. Finish it out. So what we're going to do is uh, what I think 
I'll do is I'll save the rest of that for maybe my second session later on today. The remaining movements for you guys who are in muscle anarchy and dumbbell anarchy are going to be the bench dip squeeze press combo. Uh, so you can all do that on the flat. Weight on the bench dip, squeeze press, you squeeze the bells together. And then finally, it's just a light 100 flies if you would like to, to finish that. Let's take a couple minutes again and answer some questions and talk to you guys. Um, and uh, we can do some Q&A. Anything, training, nutrition, equipment, logistics, we're here for you. Yeah, pretty good, we'll say. Thank you. All right, so a little fun stuff uh, coming up for uh, the both of us. So Dave is starting a 30-day uh, shred challenge. Well, well I'm, I'm not just starting the 30-day shred. I'm doing it. Okay. I'm doing so it myself. Congratulations. I was giving you a, a bone here. Thanks for doing that bone. And uh, uh, Furos, we are going to start a training nutrition challenge in oh, May. Yeah. And we're finishing uh, at-home meal plan recipes. Mindset and workout ebook. So um, that's coming up your way. We're very excited about it. And once that's done, we're starting a little pregnancy um, ebook because uh, we've had a lot of requests for that. And I know for me, I've, I've been looking for someone to help me with that for a while. So um, I know it's not something that's easy to find. All right, let's see if you guys have some questions. Yeah. We're going to uh, answer one to or this two. Connection going. Reconnecting. Man, my internet here. I think Camille's stealing all the good internet. It's all her fault again. All right. The move we did after the renegade push-up oh, was a hang clean and jerk. So we just uh, jump the weight to your shoulder and then up this to overhand. This way work better. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's talk uh, just nutrition a little bit. Sure. Um, so and um, what I wanted to just uh, brush over with you guys a little is um, at home, if you... You know, if Ask the, any questions the food in the left hand, the might... right hand tool uh, box if you want to get your questions answered. Go ahead. Oh, okay. All right. A little uh, nutrition tip. Keep it simple. Trust the diet. Any diet work for everyone. The only thing that you need to keep uh, a lookout for is how much are you putting in your body and what do they look like macronutrient-wise. So people really tend, um, I think, to make like diet very complicated and hard. I think like really the two focus is, are you in a calorie deficit or surplus or maintenance? And that's gonna dictate if you lose, maintain or gain weight. And then on the flip side, what are the macronutrients that you're eating? So are your calorie made of fat, protein or carbs? So higher carbs will bring more insulin. It brings um, insulin that is your, your storing hormone. It's going to try to store the fuel. It'll, you'll be more prone to uh, put on weight if you do more carbs. Now, at the opposite, if you're more um, high in protein and lower in everything else, you're going to release glucagon in your system, and that's your mobilizing hormones that is going to grab that fuel that you put away um, to help you utilize it for training. So I just wanted to, you know, give you guys some, um, I guess, like basic of nutrition, because I think people focus so much on like the specific ingredient they think you should be eating or like, you know, even if you uh, look at some trend, which is like high fat, low carbs, high protein, you kind of have to know why you're doing uh, which one of those and understand that if you're not in a calorie deficit, you will not lose weight. <laughs> It's really hard to lose weight if you are not in a calorie deficit. So make sure um, that you know what that looks like for you. And if you don't, come work with us. That's what that's what we do with uh, a lot of clients, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And uh, yeah, send me all your nutrition questions. We are nerds about it. And uh, I mean, so far that's the best information out there. So as we learn more, we'll evolve too. But those are pretty straightforward basic. Yeah, so if you guys, um, you know, I'm going to try to get the connection here a little bit better. Uh, there we go. We got it. So if you guys haven't uh, seen our live that we did with Alan Waddy Watkins yesterday, mm. it's on my Instagram handle at Dave Freaking Lipset. I think it's still up. Watch it. Alan is one of the most experienced coaches that Camille and I have ever met. He is um, a master at, at diets. And yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, he's done everything. 
uh, muscle gain, weight loss, full body transformations, performance. And some of the takeaways that, you know, you'll hear him say is just uh, a message, bringing it back to simplicity. You know, like Camille said, she's quoting Alan, all diets work. It's just a matter of consistency and, and figuring out uh, the right amounts and the right calories. Um, but really, you know, the more complex you start to make mm -hmm. things, uh, usually the more watered down the foundations can basically become. And the foundations are first calories, like energy balance, right? Like, are you trying to gain or lose? If you're trying to lose, you need a caloric deficit. If you're trying to gain, you need a caloric surplus. Um, macronutrient balance to kind of dictate the hormones, uh, like Camille was talking about, about glucagon and insulin. Um, and then maybe the last thing is specific food types that you may respond better or worse. Of course, we always recommend you know good sources of whole foods, um, but but you have to keep the big picture in mind. And I mean, the bottom line with your food choice is that you might like the food, but the food might not like you. Exactly. So yeah. when you eat, even though people are like, oh, you know, maybe eat like a broccoli, broccoli or, kale. Or, yes, and yeah. I know for, for Dave, not that stuff idea. is really hard to digest. And how so. do you know that that stuff is hard to digest on me? Like, what are some of the markers that you look for out of me to know if that's not a good food for me to eat? You fart a lot. I fart a lot, <laughs> yeah, and my poops are fucking disgusting. Yeah. So that's a good marker too, and how you're sleeping. Um, and Camille, like we both provide resources. Camille has an awesome nutrition platform. And I think one of the things she specializes in is, um, I'll say right now, she's much nicer than I am with regard to the diet. Like, well, it's, not the, it's not the same. David is very uh, like strict. It's like this one way, this is how you do it. And the way I do mine is, I just try to figure with my athlete what's their trigger. So some of my athletes do really well with macros. They do really well with just like a set of macro, but other of my athletes just do really well with figuring out how to change their, their habits that they have right now. So for example, like, you know, I have a, some of my athletes that are like, I need my pizza every Friday. So what we'll do is that We'll just create new recipes for them that still give them their pizza, but in a much more healthy manner. And there's like a lot of tips and tricks to do that. Um, but then if my athlete needs to be like very strict, I'm very strict. Yeah. And I kind of really try to feel the personality. Um, because if you're too strict with some athletes that are just not ready to go there, it's very overwhelming and they feel like they're failing. And, yeah, and you, you end up losing people yeah. who uh, it, it is just too much for them. And what's interesting to me is like the way Camille and I view food is actually like a little different. And the reason why it's different is because of the way we were brought up. Um, not a lot of you guys know this, but when I was a little kid, I was in a really horrific car wreck. And part of the rehabilitation and effects of this car wreck was that my stomach became massively messed up and uh, the doctors thought I had Crohn's disease and they were going to start removing my intestines and all kinds of stuff. And instead of having surgery, my mother found this diet um, from a lady in Canada called Food and the Gut Reaction, which was basically a diet to heal your intestines. So as a little kid, I was being fed these foods that are like insane, like egg white muffins, chicken and rice and broccoli and no sugar and no bread and nothing because my fear was that if I ate the bread or if I ate the sugar, my stomach was going to hurt again. So it was like, well, I'll eat this because that's what I need to do to not be sick. And I take that same approach to performance or sports or aesthetics where, well, eat this because that's what you need to do to meet your goal. Camille comes from a place where food is social and it's part of uh, your enjoyment and, uh, and, and having like... Um, and I'm a girl. And, and she's I a girl think too. being yeah. a girl like... And your hormones through the months change. It's, it's really hard when you have that like sweet tooth or... Um, but yeah, Dave can eat like... Gosh, when we met one day, we were eating like oatmeal. <laughs> I mean, I would literally take uh, dry so oatmeal, gross. tuna fish, and Tabasco sauce and be like, well, I, this, I need this many carbs, I need this much yeah. protein, and I just need to be able to get it down. I can't And do taste that. wasn't really a thing. Now, obviously, it's an extreme example. But but, did, but for you, you didn't care. Yeah. And like, I, I'm able to do that. Like, you know, obviously, when I, I'm trying to be the best in the world at, uh, at CrossFit, but for me... I love cooking, so it was like, how can I take all those ingredients that are like super plain and boring and make it fun? And yeah. like, and that's I think like the, the biggest thing is like it doesn't have to be boring. And like Dave loves it. Like when oh, yeah. Dave did this prep, like we, I was making him those egg white zucchini brownies that tasted amazing. But at the end of the day, it was pretty much egg, egg white 
and zucchini and like cocoa powder and just some um you know small other things on the side i think one of the best resources that you guys may not be aware of is camille's cookbook because like i'm very linear right i'll eat exactly what i need to eat taste or not i'll literally gag choking it down to put it in my yeah. body and like she helped me out with the prep prepping for shows and is very extreme at the end and she would make me these egg white cocoa powder brownies with 10 grams of protein 10 grams of fat uh, of, of carbs and like zero grams of fat and it was like such a great treat, and I it just opened my mind. It's like, wow, this this doesn't need to be so miserable. Yeah. yeah, sure, it takes some effort, but she did a lot of the legwork in that book, coming up with recipes that fit macronutrient profiles with lower fat, lower carbs, and higher protein with things that I guess you could call comfort food. Yeah, it's just it's just finding, you know, and you don't have to create all of those yourself, but it's just finding. There's always a good. Um, alternative for What's, whatever comfort food you want and just don't do the work come see me <laughs> what's the name of the book well so we have our 30-day meal plan okay right now that, that's where all our, our recipe are um but yeah we should do a full-on just recipe book i mean it makes it's it, really hard right now to take the, the picture and the content when we don't have a photograph and i'm not it, interested at that part it makes it so much more pleasant because like my go-to meal is lean chicken breast, rice, and spinach. And the chicken is really dry and not tasteful. And I discovered these wasabi soy almonds. And I'm like, wow, this is so much better just having like a little flavor. But All to right. me, the flavor is secondary to the effect of the food. I gotta go. Okay, Cammy's gotta go. Yep, more, more work to do. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Um, go look at all our resources. Mine are on perospinness.com. We have nutrition, training, and uh, I mean, everything fitness you can think of. Thunderbro.com for my husband. And if you guys are looking to cut down, join our 30-day shred, uh, which yes. kicked off. It's it's awesome. We give you a full nutrition plan, training, and uh, the ability to check in and get continual coaching guidance on your dietary rotations. Um, and All right. people have a lot of success there. All right, and stay in tune. I'm coming out with an ebook with nutrition plan, workout, and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> All right, All right. All right. So, sorry, we were doing it. Got a lot of questions. I'm sure a lot of you guys are questioning uh, questions about the 30 day shred.